Uh, today I'm going to be cooking a potato omelet. It's actually a Spanish omelet, but they do it with ham, but anyway, it's a Spanish dish. They have it a lot in Peru, which is where I grew up, so I grew up always eating it and I love it. Uh, the reason I'm cooking this is because it's Passover and for a week we can't have anything that rises, um, which is why we have matzah, which is flatbread and yeah, uh, some Jews don't eat even rice or peas or lentils, anything that goes from small to large. So, and I'm a vegetarian and I'm gluten free, so I have a lot of problems during this holiday. Um, so I'm gonna make a potato omelet. I eat a lot of potatoes now and I hope it'll be good and I hope that I, I'm not going to do it right for all you Spanish people. I'm very, very sorry, but it's how I know to do it. So. I'll just make it. This is my kitchen. Um, it's all we have for now. It's actually pretty big for a Tel Aviv kitchen, I have to say. Um, and I'm taking a potato, so peeling it. Um, my boyfriend's a chef, and he's much better at one, doing this fast, and two, doing it organized. I usually only, I leave all the skins on the cutting board, which is definitely annoying, but I don't know how else to do it. So now I'm gonna start cutting the potato. <laughs> and you cut them really skinny. Because um, you're actually gonna basically fry them into the omelet. By the way, the knife, when you cut, it's better to cut the, the shape with the shape of the knife. So because the knife is like this, you cut like this. And it makes it, it was really difficult for me when I first started and now it's great. We just got these pens at work. I love them, it's Arco Steel. Um, and they're colorful, which is all I care. <laughs> okay. And I personally use coconut oil for everything. I love coconut oil, it's not as fattening, it's really healthy. I use it for my hair, for my skin, whenever I'm like cooking with it, I'll just put on a little bit. <laughs> I'm putting my hair up because we're going out and it will be very humid. It's going to be very humid and it will be a poof. I don't put it up. Hi, okay. So here is what's cooking. The coconut oil has finished. So I'm gonna take the potato wedges that I, and so and you just like place them neatly on the pan. In the meantime, I'm gonna make this with some coffee. I love, love, love black coffee. Here they sell it in these little bags, these little sachets, and I just put it in mason jars, and then I have black coffee to go. It's Turkish coffee. Um, they call it in Israel Café Turki, which is Turkish coffee, or Café Shahol, which is black coffee. The coffee in, see if I can show you, and then I mix, 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 and all the little things are just going to fall. Not sure. So now it's, it's frying. I'm going to, the potatoes are frying, and I'm going to mix the egg. Only use free range eggs. If you want to see how eggs look in Hebrew, this is egg, this is free. <laughs> okay? Um, free range eggs, always, what is it? Like $5 more, even that, you know? It's so much better for your own health, it's so much better for happiness, <laughs> for life. Um, I mix two full eggs, and then I'll probably ha mix, because I'm making a big omelet, I'm making three, um, where it's only white, the white. My boyfriend likes to save the white, but I don't, because he says he, we can use it for other things, but we never end up using it, and then it just gets rotten in the fridge. So, this is how it looks like. Okay, it's all on the thing. And I'm going to mix the eggs with a fork. I have five eggs, but only two whole. The other 
and this is because I'm making for Segev and I. put in salt, you put in a little bit of everything. Um, I'm gonna clean up because, ah, my egg is still here. Okay, I'm gonna clean up and I'll be right back and you'll see my dish. Oh, see what it looks like. There. And all with coconut oil, salt, not that many eggs. It's a great recipe. 